Thank you so much for staying with us. You're still watching your favorite breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, on our Tuesday edition, pre 7th year anniversary. It's time for us to take uh, a look at what we have on the covers of the dailies. And uh, we have our in house analyst here, Mike Mesikino. Hi, Mike. <laughs> Uh, we'll definitely be starting off with uh, the Guardian newspaper right here. And for the major headlines, we have over 30,000 jobs lost to closure of manufacturing firms in four years. We have that on page six. And below there to the left, we have FG, Dangote, NNPC, MIT, explore solutions to refinery crude crisis. We have that on page three. To the right of that, we have planned protests, NLC, NANS. Others insist governments must address hunger hardship. We have that on page six. To the right of that, we have GDP ranking. Uh, it's been nine years of retrogression, Ubi laments. We have that on page four. Mike? Oh, yeah, that's uh, his money. Um, <laughs> Man, I mean, it's 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 not. Where do we even start thinking about it? Manufacturing firms, thirty thousand jobs lost. Yeah. We've seen a lot of it. Um, uh, a lot of the big multinationals even leaving. In fact, there's even talk, talk about Microsoft is now the next latest of uh, heading. Yeah. Well, leaving Nigeria as yes. well. not like their products not be here, but their office in Nigeria yeah. being closed up and then heading to other African countries yeah. that have a, a much more favorable yeah, business yeah. climate and all mm -hmm. of that. And, when will it end? It may be probably end when all of them leave, right? Tough. And then we have, I mean, come on, we really, we really, something, something really, we need to create an enabling environment. That's just it, that's it. Create an enabling environment. Someone said that if it's hard for even Nigerians to do business, there, you know there's been this um, recent um, land saga where a number of people are complaining about, oh, uh, you buy you buy land and then the fraudulent agents people sell land to more than one person or there's a land selling contention and all of that and then someone asked the question that even if you have um, Nigerians in diaspora or Nigerians themselves are finding it even hard to do business how do you now encourage foreign investment when even Nigerians are complaining and yeah. they want to do business in their own in land their country yes um, I think it's actually something that we need to that needs to be looked at, to be very honest. But anyways, I won't speak much on that. Let's move on to the Daily Independence. Uh, for the major headlines here, we have aviation fuel at 1,550 per liter, holds back sector, pushes fares sky high. We have that on page 29. And below that to the left, we have hardship. NLC precedent advises Tinubu on how to avert proposed protest. We have that on page 29. To the right, we have FG Brokers Peace as Lokogiri meets Dangote, NMDPRA, NUPRC, and NPCL. We have that on page 29. And uh, of course, uh, with regards to aviation fuel, this is something that we've literally been seeing. I think everything is moving. Um, I mean, fuel in general, mm. right? And then, of course, aviation particularly, because right now, I mean, the airfares are definitely, like, at the yeah. record high. Oh, They're wow. having up to about 250,000 now, one-way tickets, local travel. And uh, it's just... What's the average, Abuja now? Really, yeah, yeah, so... It's I was thinking about it when I thought about the fares. I was like, oh boy, we can do video call. Do you understand? You can, you know? Yeah. yeah you, you, most people, if you, wanted, if you want to get a favorable price, you probably have to book ahead. Mm -hmm. A very long time ahead and yes. all of that. And even beyond, beyond that, we're talking about the price of fuel affecting uh, the rates of the tickets. However, even within the industry, we're talking about pilot shortage, um, shortages and yeah. all of that. Yeah. Um, the, 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 the airlines are literally not even operating at the capacity to which they're meant to operate at. There's literally a whole lot going. I think everything that is happening in the economy literally is affecting sectors yeah. in a more like like vivid way from the inside. And speaking about, um, I mean, yesterday I was literally driving around um, town and you literally see a lot of buildings vacant, right? Buildings that you've known certain um, businesses to operate out of, oh. literally a lot of them are literally vacant. So as much as, yeah, a lot of people may see it as, I, of course, foreign investment is always welcome, do you understand? Considering the, the revenue that can be generated from taxes they pay and things like that. However, I mean, it can also be a positive thing if 
we are now taking advantage as a nation to fill those holes, right? Creating policies that no, we're not. encourage we're encourage not. locals to literally start up and and you see these warehouses that they, uh, they occupy properties and all of that, and nothing is happening. A lot of them get dilapidated, a lot of them get yes. more rebound. Yes. Um, I, every time when I pass Obaka and I think about all that, in, Obaka is basically an industrial avenue. Yeah. It used to be, as it were. But then when you look at uh, this side that there was Dunlop was there, yes. there were some yes. other things, and you just look at that, that almost whole, whole stretch, exactly. mm -hmm. and you... It, it, it's not even something you can use again. The 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 the, the, the structures. There's yes. no structure there. Yes. It's 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 it's, it's the structure. It's not the structure. Structures. It's just it's just there, and then it's been like that for decades for now. Yes. And looking nothing at it, they're like done. yeah, like nothing, nothing is happening there and all of that. And you really, you really want to bother that. Look, how far can we go with this? Mm -hmm. You know, I was talking about the uh, the Dangote uh, issue is on basically every paper now. I say that. In the last two, three weeks, what they've heard from Dango, the interviews he has given is more than it's more given than exactly in his life. And people are wondering, like, what's going on? What's going on? Like, this, he's also this, man, this man doesn't normally, uh, he doesn't normally come out to talk, but now, Baba, but they say Baba can even join the protest as it were. Literally, it starts with one of his own. But that, 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 that's a, it's, 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 a, it's a whole rabbit hole. Yes. It's not something that you can just. Uh, you know, uh, try to figure out. Mm -hmm. You know, you might analyze and try to find where you think it's going on. Mm -hmm. It's a deep rabbit hole. Okay, so now um, we have, I mean, the punch here and um, the Daily Times, but I think that's all the time we have. Um, let's quickly take the headlines on the punch. For the major headlines here, we have full crisis, markets as project. Seven, 700 billion naira monthly subsidy. We have that on page two. NNPC mom as dealers insists government still paying subsidy. Reps probe crude shortage. Uh, Dangote eyes foreign markets for refinery products. FG meets Chiari. Dangote over disputes. At the top there we have windfall tax. FG insists on sanctions for defaulting bank chiefs. Proposed 10% penalty on withheld levy. We have it on page 26. To the right of that we have organized private sector opposes fresh interest rate hike. We have that on page 23. Below there, um, beside the image, we have Nigeria records $1 billion international transfers infos in three months. We have that on page 23. Hunger protest. NLC warns against clamp down. We have that on page 16. Below there, we have um, immigration officer, three others arraigned for drug trafficking. We have that on page 5. Mastermind of Abuja General's murder, nabbed in Kano. We have that on page five. And finally, Edo Igodalo's candidacy upheld. Shaibu fined one million naira. We have that on page seven. And that's all we'll be taking uh, for the cover of the dailies this morning.